Introduction. I'm Ellie Bub. Hey, Bubbly Tees. On the fifth episode of Summer Logs, we will be making keychains. <laughs> we'll be using some simple items for this creation. Basically, things that are cheap and can be rummaged throughout my house. Without hesitation, let's design. Hey, Bubbly Tees. So, you might remember the last few episodes of Summer Logs where I did these doodles and drawings and I colored them. I think it was episode two where I did some chill drawings. So I'm gonna bring these drawings back and turn them into something because they weren't supposed to be drawings. They're actually going to turn into stickers and keychains. But in today's video, we're just gonna be making some keychains and um, I'm probably gonna just make them for my bags and probably because I'm going back to school soon. So I need to jazz up my stationery and bags. I actually wrote down which doodles I'm going to be making as a keychain. So uh, we have six because there's 12 doodles. Um, so first off, what I'm gonna do is rip out this page real fast so that I can cut them out. I'm gonna actually rip out another piece of paper and you'll find out why later. So let me go ahead and do that real fast. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out and um, that will just probably take a bit. So we're gonna cut out first, um, starting with the bottom and then working our way to the top. So um, the reason why I do have two papers is because we're making a keychain and these are gonna be handmade so I'm not gonna like put them in the oven like how most people do it. I'm actually going to use another piece of paper to make it quite thicker and durable. So to make the time go faster, I went ahead and cut out all the drawings off camera. So here I put them onto the cardboard because to make the to make it more sturdy. Oh my gosh, the wind blew this. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to go ahead and tape the figures into the cardboard. So hopefully this will be enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my clear tape and we're gonna stick them onto the cardboard. All six keychains are taped down to the cardboard. So now we're flipping the cardboard oops, flipping the cardboard to the other side and gluing um, a piece of uh, colored paper to make it more thicker and uh, I'm gonna go and pick um, paper but I'm not gonna choose black I'm gonna choose probably something I think we'll just choose yellow because I like yellow I'm just gonna cut this out and paste it onto the back of these cardboards the yellow paper is now glued back to the back side of the cardboard for both cardboard things objects whatever now is the time to cut it like it took so long for both of these cardboards to be cut out, but finally they're gonna get cut out now. So here we're gonna use a scissor and cut through these things. You might notice that since this is cardboard, it might be kind of hard to cut through this, but I'm gonna try my best and hopefully make this, okay, make this um as best and neat as I can.
finished all the cutting out all of these six keychains. So here is a closer look at each one of them. So I tried to cut them out very neatly, but some of them came out a little bit too um, bad, but it's okay because I'll fix them later, hopefully. So here are just these little things. And yeah, they're shiny now because I added tape, so. And they're pretty much more durable. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to hole punch each of the keychains because it's not gonna be a keychain if you can't even hang it on your bag. So um, I got this hole puncher. I actually have yet to open it. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it right now on the camera. So let me go ahead and do that. There you go. All right, now time to hole punch it. We're going to hole punch on Like so. Uh... All right, I figured it out and I peeled off the hole so you can put it here. So yeah, one keychain hole punched, five more to go. Mighty tool. After hole punching all six characters, I finally finished each one of them. So here's what they look like hole punch here, hole punch here, hole punch here. The lighting's maybe too bright. But uh, here, a whole bunch here, and the last one right here. But I kind of messed up because uh, the edge might have teared out, but now I fixed it with tape, so it's already perfectly fine. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and do the final part, which is to put the keychains into these little binding holders. So that's what we're gonna do right now. The first one we're going to do probably will be R2. Let's do R2 first. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and put it right in there. Okay. One keychain down, five more to go. I actually might put a few more keychains into this with this R2 one, so I'm gonna pick another one that I can put in with this one, but we'll just maybe just do that later and see what happens. Here is the next keychain or ring that we're gonna use to put my keychains on. So um, I actually collected most of these from my old keychains that broke out, so pretty much perfect to use for these ones. So I think I'm going to pick this one, this crumb one. So let's go ahead and use this one and put it in here. So the crumb, the crumb keychain is now finished. So we got four more to go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just put all the rings inside my keychains without talking. So you can just go ahead and watch till the end and see what they look like. Here I got a pack of assorted binder rings, thinking these were good key rings for my keychains, but apparently they're for binders. But you know what? I like using anything as long as it will help my keychains. So hopefully this will be as helpful as I portrayed it to be. So let's get started. I'm gonna open this. Whoa, that was really loud. <laughs> okay, all right. So here we got different key rings. They're small. There's a big one that I'm probably not going to use, but uh, we'll see.
after effort effortlessly combining all these little key rings and punching the holes into them, but finally they're finished. So here is a tour of each one. So here is the R2 one. And here is the Luke Skywalker one. I still have to close up that little keyhole, but I'll do that later. And here is the Grogu one. Okay, there we go. With just a binder ring from a simple little binder. And here is the Club Penguin one. And the B one right here. And then we have the final one, which is the Cup Toast Crumb one. So yeah, it was pretty fun making all these keychains. And they turned out pretty good, actually. I didn't really expect it because I was just doing a test, but apparently they did work. I'm going to rate the episode of Summer Logs. And uh, I think, um, you know, it was kind of hard punching the holes and uh, putting some of the key rings in, but... Overall, it was a pretty fun experience, so I'll just give it an 8.5 out of 10, but it was pretty fun. So, yeah, um, thank you guys for watching Summer Logs. The only hard parts here were probably pole punching them and putting the cardboard, cutting the cardboard out, because that was, um, the material is pretty hard to um, cut out, along with all the paper I used and the colored paper so yeah that was that's pretty much it so thank you guys for watching summer logs my brother has a final word to say so please say it see you. okay and goodbye goodbye everyone you want to say goodbye goodbye okay he said goodbye all right goodbye